everyone, my name is Eliza and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be talking about my August wrap up and my Disney a thon wrap up, which is basically the same thing. Weird, why should I film two videos if both of them are gonna be exactly the same? So, for the month of August, I joined my first readathon, which I was very excited about. For the month of August, I was very successful in reading, which is the first time in a long time I've been able to read more than like two or three books in a month. I used to average at least four or five books a month, but I've just slowly gone downhill with that. So this month really got me into reading more books. For the month of August, I read four books. And the first one, that I'm going to mention which was for the prompt for the Jasmine prompt for the Aladdin team so the book had to include royalty and the book that I chose was Fury Born by Claire Legrand. This book is about two girls in two different times and both of them are destined to rule. I feel like I really definitely missed something. I felt really confused about the two characters and if there was repeated characters. I know I had to stop this book originally because I had to re-get it out from the library because it was overdue. But I still feel like there's a complete disconnect with me in the book. Like I can't really say as much how much of what the book was about which is pretty sad. But essentially these two women are separated by a thousand years I believe. They're both fighting this cosmic war. One is trying to prove that she is, you could say, the chosen one, and the other joins a rebel captain on a journey. I've heard so many good things about this book and had this book on my TBR for so long. I think that since I feel like there's a disconnect for me, I might have to eventually re- audiobook the book. I feel like I should like this book a lot more than I did. This is actually the first book out of a four book series. The second book just came out so I don't feel that bad with rereading the book but maybe I might wait a while till I do that. Even though there was a disconnect for me I gave this book three stars and I really look forward to re-audiobooking this book. The next book that I'm going to mention that you've heard about at least three times so far possibly if you've been following my channel and this book was the prompt for the Latin prompt which is read a book with romance. And the book that I chose for that prompt was War by Laura Thalassa. If you've seen my review video already you are already gonna know what happens. Since this is the second book in a series I won't say too much. As you can just tell by this cover it obviously includes romance. Essentially this is the second book in the Four Horsemen series. This one obviously covers war. The first book in the series was Pestilence. Sometimes you think that a lot of times the second book in a series isn't as good. At least I find that. Thankfully I found this book to be mostly even and the amount of liking. As you can tell this book is also a new adult book so it was nice to not have to deal with some of the whining and complaining of a YA book but at the same time you also have to deal with some parts that you just need to skip. I found that I really liked this book more than I thought I would. I really like the lass's writing style and it's so easy to read that you can just speed on through right through the book. I feel like there's only, there's two characters that a lot of people will know about. Definitely relate to the, this couple in this book and that is Drogo from Game of Thrones and I don't know about Khaleesi from Game of Thrones but I'm not a big fan of Khaleesi. Definitely Drogo aka Jason Momoa would be perfect fit for this character so for me the guy on this cover didn't seem to fit as much as Jason Momoa does. The book had a lot more scenes I ended up skipping compared to the first book. The first book seemed more innocent for war. Honestly I would be surprised if he would be counted as an innocent character. He definitely had a different personality but the same kind of drive for his purpose on earth or reading some of the book. I was afraid it was gonna go in a certain direction but thankfully I really enjoyed this book. If you really enjoy fantasy romance, new adult, then you definitely would like this book. I do have to warn you though that aside from the, the name of the book there is a lot of war involved in this book and traveling so if you're not too much of a fan of those two instances then I would advice maybe not reading this book. There's quite a few gruesome parts in this book that involve many different things but I overall really enjoyed this book and I love the characters that Thalassa makes up. The head characters to her books. I look forward to the next two books in this series and I gave this book five stars. The next book that I read which was a prompt for the magic carpet and that one is read a fantasy book. Now the book that I chose for this one was the reason why I didn't get done with the entire Aladdin section of books 
for that month because this book was about 700 to 800 pages so it took me a while to get through but at the same time I could not not read this book because it came out at the beginning of August. And that book is Dark Age by Pierce Brown. Now if you guys know already, Pierce Brown is by far one of my favorite authors out there. A lot of you might say, well, isn't the Red Rising series more sci-fi? So to sum it up, beginning of the series, because this is book five, so far. There's gonna be six books in the series, I believe. First half of the series, it is more on the fantasy side. The way Brown has written these books, it's the world changes so much. It has turned into more of a sci-fi book. Now, some of you might say, oh, I really don't like sci-fi. Give this book a chance. He is one, by far, one of my favorite authors. J.R. Tolkien, George R. Martin, and George Lucas had a kid that would be Pierce Brown. And you may think I might be over exaggerating, but I'm really not. For all that flourishing of how much I love the series, so essentially I won't say that much about this book because it is the fifth book in the series and with this series, you really can't say anything. It's like Game of Thrones. Like, you don't know who dies, who's not gonna die, and so many things that happen in this book that I just, I'm not gonna say what happened, but I'm gonna say that this was an excellent book. I have to say that the previous book in the series came out about two years ago. Update myself on what happened previously because these books are complex and there's so many characters that it's hard to remember who did what. I feel a, somewhat of a disconnect because I've been reading these series as the, as the books have been coming out. If I read all these books at the same time, it would totally make more sense. But of course that's on me to re-update myself on the books. There are so, so many deaths in this book. Here's Brown just went all George R. R. Martin on all of us. So many parts in this book where I was holding my breath and just like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I did have to stop reading the book about a quarter of into the book because this book is such a long book. I did switch over to audiobook, which definitely helped a lot more. It wasn't a cliffhanger like the second book in the series, if you know what I'm saying. I really didn't give you any information, but if you have not read this series, people, read Red Rising. Just trust me. The book does start out more YA, but turns into an adult series. So I don't know if it's technically an adult series. And of course, I gave this book five stars. The next prompt, which was Jafar, read a book at night. So because of that prompt, I usually read right before I go to sleep, which is the issue why I don't get through books a lot. The book that I read was Night Tide by Grace Draven, a novella that takes place in the Wrath King series that she wrote. She mentioned something how these characters are going to end up in the fifth book in the Wrath King series, I believe. This is about a monster that showed up in the second book in the Wrath King series and basically haunts the ocean side. As you can tell from the cover, the main character is a female and her horse. It's a really short book about people ending up being called to the sea and dying. It wasn't like a I'm head over heels about it, but it was an all right book. And I gave this book three stars. And those are all the books that I read for August. Now I'm pretty happy for myself for reading that many books. Now I did not get to the group's prompt book which was The Last Magician by Lisa Maxwell. I am currently audiobooking that book. It's all right so far, but I don't have a lot of high hopes for this book. It kind of reminds me of Fantastic Beasts in a way. We'll see what I think of that book and I will let you guys know in my next wrap up video. Also, I just, I'm so happy about this. As you guys know, I am a very big fan of Jay Kristoff and I love his writing and I am a fan of the Nevernight series. I'm a huge fan of the pre-order gifts now. For the month of September, I'm hopefully going to be reading Dark Dawn by Jay Kristoff. I was so stoked to get this book. You guys can see it's a lovely, lovely cover, but this is a signed first edition, so I don't have any signed editions at all, so I'm so stoked about this. One of the other pre-order gifts is that it's a signed copy. So I just really 
felt excited to show you guys actual book for once instead of a library book or a book that I got for like 25 cents from the library. If you guys have not read the first book of the Never Nevernight series, Nevernight is a very grunge, dark, adult, not YA, because it is labeled YA, it's not a YA book, adult fantasy assassin type book. I would highly recommend this series if you have not read it. I hope you all have enjoyed this video. I would love to know what you guys are currently reading or if you have read any of these books that I've talked about. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up button down below. If you want to subscribe to my channel, just hover on my face right here and hit subscribe. And I hope to see you guys next time.